and welcome back. Today in this video we're going to talk about special right triangles. In this video we're going to talk about our 30, 60, and 90 degree special right triangles. And what I've provided down here at the bottom is I've provided kind of a little cheat sheet for us for our 30, 60, 90 triangles. Now X in this case is going to be the short side, the short leg. X root 3 is going to be the long leg, and then 2X is going to be the hypotenuse, okay? So those, those specific words we need to know for our 30, 60, 90 triangles. Okay, so in this example, or in this video, excuse me, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do two different examples um, of using our 30, 60, 90 triangles. Okay, so uh, the directions are basically going to be the same for both, uh, for both examples. Find the values of X and Y, give your answers in simplest radical form. Okay, so no decimals or any of that kind of messy stuff. We're just going to use radicals. All right. So in this case, looking at this triangle for this example, the only the only side that they give me is my hypotenuse, is this 22 right here. So if I go down to my little cheat sheet here, my hypotenuse is right here. Now, whenever you're looking at a 30, 60, 90 triangle, the one side you always want to try to find first is your short side, your short leg. So this X that I have down here, that is the one that you should find first. Now if I'm going from the hypotenuse down to the shorter leg, I have to divide by 2. Notice here 2X and X. To get from 2X to X, I would have to divide by 2. So that's what I have to do in this case. If I want to get from the hypotenuse down to the shorter leg, I'm going to have to divide by 2. But the first thing I have to identify first is which one is my shorter leg. Now, this cheat sheet, yes, helps us with some of these triangles, but notice that this one's in a different orientation. So now the shorter or excuse me, the shortest leg of a triangle is always going to be opposite of the smallest angle. So notice this 30 degrees over here is going to give me, this, that's the smallest angle. Opposite of that is always going to give me the smallest side. Okay, The smaller the angle, the smaller the opposite side. So what this does is this tells me that X right here is in fact my shortest leg. So in this case, X is going to be, my short leg is going to be half of what, um, oh, excuse me, is going to be half of what the hypotenuse is. So in this case, x is equal to 11. Okay. Now that 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 short leg is usually again usually one of the first ones you always want to find because it's usually the simplest one to find. Uh, and if you want to find anything else from there, uh, it's usually easiest to use the short leg to do that. Okay. Now. Change things up a little bit. Now what we're going to find is we're going to find Y over here. Y is across from the 60 degree angle, which means it's my longer leg. It's going to be the biggest leg of the triangle. Not to say that it's the biggest leg overall. Uh, 22 is still going to be the largest side. It's the hypotenuse. It's always going to be the biggest side. We're just saying Y is the larger leg. X is the smaller leg. Y is the larger leg. All right, so to get from, and again, we're always, we're always trying to use our smaller leg. To get from the small leg to the long leg, well, all we have to do is multiply by the square root of 3. So in this case, y is going to be pretty easy to find. All I have to do is take 11 and multiply it times the square root of 3. Okay, so same directions this time. What we're doing is we're finding the values of x and y. Give your answers in simplest radical form. Okay, so here's our example that we have. Um, first thing we got to do is identify what side they did give us. Uh, I do have our cheat sheet down here. A little down here, so we can kind of refer to that. Um, I have this 15 here, and I got to figure out what side is that. Now, the only angle that they give me is this 60, which means this angle down here is 30 degrees. This 30 degrees is the smallest, which makes x. This is going to be my short leg. Y is going to be my hypotenuse. Okay. So the side that they did give me is they gave me the 15. They gave me the longer leg. This is the longer leg, this is the shorter leg, this is my hypotenuse. Okay, so again, we got a little bit of work ahead of us. Um, this is what I would say is, is the problem that's probably going to give us the most trouble, is going to give us the most work, but that's okay. So notice here, we are starting at the, uh, down here in our little cheat sheet, we are starting with the longest leg. To get from the longest leg to the shorter leg, all I have to do is divide by the square root of 3. So what I have to do is I have to take 15 and I have to divide by the square root of 3. Okay, now, just like the previous video that we did with 45, 45, 90 um, triangles, um, you, we do not like this square root of 3 on the bottom. That is not simplest radical form. So we have to get rid of that radical on the bottom 
to do that, what we have to do is we have to multiply by that radical that we want to get rid of. So I'm going to multiply by the square root of 3 on top and bottom. Okay, now what that does on top doesn't really do much. 15 root 3, again, numbers and radicals, they do not mix together. So I'm just going to put them next to each other. Yes, they're still multiplying by one another, um, but it's not really going to affect one another because one's on the outside, one's on the inside. On the, on the bottom, though, is a different different story. Both of those are underneath a radical, so I can multiply those together, and I get the square root of 9. Okay, and then this simplifies to 15 root 3 over, well, I know what the square root of 9 is, that's going to be 3. And one other thing that I see is 15 and 3, both of those are outside of the radical, which means that I can divide those, so that's going to give me 5 root 3. Nice. A lot, of, a lot of simplifying there. Okay, what that means is that what we just did is we took 15 and we divided by the square root of 3, and then that will give us our smaller leg. So in this case, x is equal to 5 square root of 3. From the shorter leg to the hypotenuse, all I need to do is multiply by 2. So f for y here in this case, what I'm going to do is actually not write y first. I got to take I got to take 5 root 3 and I have to multiply times 2. Okay? Now, this actually isn't really confusing at all when you when you take something like this and multiply times 2, it's only the numbers on the outside that are going to affect one another. This 2 is not going to is not going to multiply with the square root of 3 inside. So actually y is simply just going to be 10 root 3. Okay? 10 root 3. 6090 triangles. Alrighty. And uh, yeah, that was 3690 triangles. Uh, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.